Welcome to Main World Spots. This week, the spot is Salt Lake City Clark Planetarium, located in downtown Salt Lake City. This is a very good place to visit, so let's go. Let's gonna stop by driving to the place where we wanna go. This is a little bit far, so we're gonna take the car today, and we're gonna be driving towards downtown Salt Lake City. It's in the morning, and we don't have much traffic. So, by now we are getting closer to the downtown in Salt Lake City. You can see that we are in the city right now. So, let's gonna drive a little bit more. We are almost there. This is the place where the planetarium is located. This is a small shopping center that is called the Gateway. Later, I'm gonna come here and film other locations in this place. But today, let's gonna focus on the planetarium. We are almost there. This is it. You can see in the right, we have the parking spot, which is going to be a parking garage underground. So, let's get in, let's get a ticket. This machine is gonna give us a ticket. We're gonna punch a button, it's gonna give us a ticket, and after that, it's gonna be charging us depending the time that we stay right here. So, I got a ticket. Let's go and find a place to park. So here we go. In these parking spots, we need to drive slow. And I think that's a good spot right there. The Salt Lake City Planetarium. It is a very good place to visit. I'm gonna start from outside. Here I am, outside in the street. And basically what I want to do is I want to show you guys from outside how is the one person just go inside we open the doors and we are about to start the adventure of today. Welcome to the Salt Lake City Clark Planetarium. Admission is free with exception of the movies. You need to pay for the movies uh, if you want to buy some food. But everything that I'm about to show you today, it is absolutely free. So, in the very first floor, right here, we can find the Dejaba Expo where they are showing different attractions like this planet Earth. Down in the very first level where we are right now, it is focused on meteorites, the rocks that falls from the sky. So first of all, there are some simulations. We're gonna use that one a little bit later, but this piece right here, this is a moon rock. It has a value of 10 ounces for a million dollars. So you can see the, wow, just right there. This is something amazing to see. This rock is part of the moon and it was brought in the Apollo missions. Then right here, you can see that we have real life meteorites. Yep, those are the ones that you can see right here. You are welcome to touch some of those ones and some of those ones now. This is an iron meteorite and it just fall from the sky. Some of those ones are so small that they have to use a specific magnifier glass. But yes, here we are. Look at me. You are welcome to play and touch and see the meteorites. For example, this one is too small and they have special illumination. To learn more about those meteorites, you can see them right there. But now, let's gonna play a little bit of a video game. First, we choose a model. And this game, we are attempting to land a lunar model. So I am using the controls, trying to land that ship. So little by little, almost there, almost, almost, I got this. I, 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 oh no, oh, okay, okay. Let's go, move, oh, look at that. There are many more places to go. Let's gonna, wow, let's gonna go a little bit more. So that's, oh, those are the places, oops, obviously. Oh, what's going on right there? Okay, coming back, coming back, coming back. Okay, obviously, I need to practice more, but okay, I think that that's enough for this game and let's gonna go and see what other meteorites we have around here. This one? It's another part which it has another or several meteorites, examples where you can see it has a description of each one and actually it says what day and what place those meteorites were found. 
this one right here it's the one that he fought in Russia not some it's about nine years ago but yeah down here is meteorites place and they give a scientific explanation about all these majestic pieces of rock they fall in our planet but let's gonna continue to investigate reviewing different things there are other games that you can play like this one right here is a very large meteorite that you can see that there is small rocks and big rocks there are other in, in this one it's game you are supposed to defend earth from meteorites this is a pendulum and this pendulum explains the this is the proof that the earth is rotating very interesting stuff and this actually is a scientific piece this one right here it talks about how earthquakes affects but let's gonna continue to review other places so let's walk out and let's gonna see what other things does the planetarium has for us right here in the first floor they also have one store where you can buy toys souvenirs and many other things related to technology but let's gonna go to the second floor first mm, right here they have other places that we can visit and this is a store that i was talking to you about it has many different things that we can buy right there and the good thing is that all those toys are science related but let's continue to moving forward to different places in the second floor right here is when the movie theaters is located uh, they have a regular movie theater where you can actually see some movies related to the planet and the space but these are simulations and these are some other places that we can visit and review for example they have other this is a science expo as well where you can interact this is one example of how the gases uh, and the sun affect the planet i'm gonna push this button and you can see how this is a simulation of how the sun can send the radiation through a planet this is something about gases and light and this one right here is to manipulate uh, the earth uh, and how the planets move around but uh, all of these things are interactive this is very interesting this is one of those things that has electro uh, electricity and look when I touch it right there you can see that the power it's going to send it to my hand I don't get electrocuted thank goodness but it's just science in action this one right here these have like uh, sensors in the walls that it can sense you and it is gonna change according to your position and your hands but let's gonna keep moving forward uh, this is an area where you can wait uh, by some food uh, so that's popcorn and you can wait until your movie starts today I will not go to the movie spark what I want to do today is I want to show you all the parts that are actually free uh, in this part right here we can see the first level this is the place where we were before this is the part when I was telling you about the, pla the meteorites and the planet and you can see that everything is actually free and you can go and visit all those places but let me tell you what there is much more to see so I'm just gonna continue reviewing the places that we can review and visit in this place this is a machine that actually has some balls that you can throw and it moves around but I'm gonna be walking to the sec actually this is the third floor and uh, let's gonna review the different things that we have they are changing and updating the attractions for example this one right here I don't know exactly what it will be but it's gonna be open soon this is another exposition and this one it's a real life space uh, suit this is what astronauts really use when they go out there so that's a really cool stuff uh, but let's gonna continue to review the other things that we can see here so let's move forward 
right here you can see that there are other experiments but this one right here it is like it's, it's like a green screen in today's world with zoom everybody uses it but uh, I'm gonna use it a little bit right here so basically we have a green wall behind us and right here I can choose when I you know I'm gonna say I want to choose what is the background that I want to be using right now I'm gonna choose Jupiter that sounds like a, well, I'm gonna be one of the you in the moons of I think Saturn I mean uh, yeah with the rings and in one of I mean one of the moons of Saturn and I'm gonna be right there is a script that you can read where you can talk about the weather in that specific place and this is really fun so let's keep moving forward so this is one of the attractions that we have right here so the next thing you can see that there is planet and attractions almost in every corner oh, this one is really good I'm gonna come back to this one later because right now somebody's using it but you can see that there is plenty of things to play with right now I just gonna keep moving forward and when I'm going in my way out I'm gonna be reviewing some of these ones right now I wanna go to one of my favorite ones that is in the back I've been here before so I know even though they are changing some of these ones but some of those ones they are for a long term you can see that there is like a video games that you but those video games are related to the space and they are related and designed to make you think about the space this room right here is like being in Mars and the color and everything right here well actually it's a moon of Jupiter you can see right there this is a robotic explorer and basically what happens is tells you what is your objective and first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna give some commands to the rob and then we're gonna press go and these machines are gonna be moving according to the commands that we give them uh, right now the batteries are down so I'm going to be walking a little bit more this is if you are in one of those places this is how it looks in the space and you can see that everybody well it's excited to see those places like those kids right there oh my goodness that kid is so happy all right so let's continue moving forward uh, seeing the other things but this is a really good place to bring the kids and take actually very good pictures and you can simulate that you are in different modes but walking out you can see that we have different attractions that and all of these attractions are science related interactive places where you can do different things for example this one's right here uh, this one right here explains what is a black hole Hole, how a supernova collapses uh, into a black hole this one right here it shows you and explains what is a neutron star this thing is super dense and super heavy uh, but oh look at that we can place that one right there this one is to show how the gravitational gravitational pull of the black holes and you can see how you can control it with your hand you can see that I'm using my hand to move the black hole and interact with other particles right there that is very very interesting but let's gonna continue seeing other places these are my favorites neutron stars are something amazing because neutron stars are so dense for example uh, uh, this cube right here uh, okay that one right there. you can see it right now this if is that substance of course that's just a cube but if that will be part of the neutron star that will be a, a ton in weight literally so this one right here it's a uh, um, like a map that is interactive with the people that are behind basically it shows how the gravitational waves affect uh, the gravity on the space it's very very interesting but uh, before we move forward let me talk about this one this it's a different movie theater in the second floor they have the regular ones this is called a dome movie theater in this one as you can see in the pictures the literally the screen is in the roof and you see the stars it's very very good I've been there before so I advise you if you ever visit here pay and use that it's different than the regular now let's gonna play with this one right here is another kind of a game so basically in the in the space there are asteroids 
And the objective in this one is that you have to put some planets in orbits around the sun. And then when you have to protect Earth from meteorites, uh, uh, depending the places where you put them, uh, these things are going to be rotating as a solar system does. So I'm going to hit play and you can see that everything starts moving. However, you will see that there are some satellites, uh, meteorites, they are, uh, ouch, when hits the Earth. Uh, another one, oh my goodness. So I think that in the next time I need to put other planets so they can take the hits and the Earth can be safe. But yeah, this is the objective of this game where you can learn about gravitational forces, meteorites and the force of attraction. This is your weight in other worlds. So basically this is escape. And you're gonna, st I can, I'm gonna stand that right now, and I'm gonna be choosing uh, where I wanna be. For example, let's gonna start with Earth. In Earth, when I say go, you can see that right now with my backpack, I'm 163 pounds. I have water and other things in the backpack. I'm not that heavy really, but right now I'm, I'm that. So now I'm gonna choose a different place. Where it will be a best place? So for example, no Mars now. Jupiter. Jupiter is bigger. For that reason, my weight it should be higher. And you can see the right there is telling me that in 412 pounds, it will be my weight in Jupiter. But let's gonna choose a different place. What will be good? Let me see. Neutron star. Oh, this place has a strong gravitational pull. You can see 32,600, 800 pounds if I be there. Uh, uh, you can choose different places. Uh, for example, let's gonna choose one more. What would be good? Oh, moon. The moon is smaller than Earth. For that reason, look at that. I am only 27 pounds in the moon. So that's a cool place to be. It is time to go. So let's gonna start walking closer to the exit. So right now, I'm gonna start going downstairs. So the, because we are in the third floor and you can see that this is a good place to bring even babies so whole families doesn't matter what age you are this is a really good place to visit from really really young babies to older people as i mentioned before this is a really cool store with really good toys and other items all of them science related so let's keep moving forward because it is time to go outside I am just walking, uh, it's, now I'm in the first floor, this is the place where I was starting, but right there it is the place where I actually parked the car, so I'm gonna keep moving forward and I put the car in a underground parking spot. It's really good to park in because first it is safe, second there is always parking spot, and number three even if it's raining or snowing outside, it's super easy to bring your kids or bring uh, any person or even you. So right now I'm going to keep moving and this is the parking uh, garage that we have in the ground. Right there, that yellow car, that's my ride. So it's almost time to get home. I'm going to get closer and I unlock the car and keep getting closer. Alrighty, so this is almost done for right now, so I, I'm going to get in the car and then I'm going to be going on my way to the street. This is the place where I'm going to be paying. I just paid, it was like $2 for the all the time that I was here. I was here for hours. This is a small video, but I was here for a long time. But right now, I'm going to continue to move uh, on the street. Uh, this is very close to downtown and let's gonna find out actually it is time to find something to eat and uh, i think that i know a place that i hasn't been there in a long long time it's located in Salt Lake city but more to the south so i know this uh place where i can find indian food it's very good and it's super delicious so let's gonna keep driving until we get to that specific place where we can find lunch for today. Here we are. 
I'm walking outside and this place is called Curry in a hurry. It's a very catchy name and basically uh, they have Indian food ready for you right away. Uh, you can see that this is a small place. I'm just gonna talk to this guy and he is the person who is gonna be giving me my order. I got a soda as well with my food. The food is gonna be ready in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna look at the restaurant to see how the place is inside. As you can see, it's not really big. Actually, it just has capacity to maybe 15 people at the most. But uh, what most people, what they do is like what I'm about to do myself. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the food and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna eat it in home. He's just telling me that my food is ready. This is the food, oh, it's so good. The garbanzo beans and the rice is below the lamb. So I'm gonna go outside because right now it is time to go home and eat the food. And I need to get the video out of the cameras and I need to put it on YouTube so you guys can see it. Curry on a hurry. So let's go home. Here we are driving to our house and this has been a very good adventure thanks for joining us today uh, there is many more adventures to go